Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Core Keeper today. Here we are. We've got a cow. He's outside. His name is Cow. I named him Cow. It's a little confusing, I know, but uh, I've got the door open for him. I hope he wanders in before our other individuals here wander out, but I have a feeling it's going to happen in reverse. So anyway, we've got a full inventory today. We did some major exploring in the previous one. We got ourselves all the way out to the void. Where was that? I think it was up here. Yeah, we built a little bridge. Or maybe it was down in this direction, actually. Yeah, here's the void right here. We got to the other side of the void and found, well, we found some tin, which is fantastic. So let's put that in the thing. There we go. Tin bars are finally working. That, once it's finished, should give us enough for the tin workbench. So that's going to be pretty important. Um, let's go ahead and stack off some of the rest of our stuff. Yep, nothing much there. Okay, we've, we've got a large amount of gold ore. Now, from what I've read, though, it seems like we need to be working with iron before we work with the gold ore, basically. It's, now, I don't know... I haven't encountered any iron, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but I'm sure we'll come across some eventually. Look at this. Those cows are just literally hanging out right down by that door. Okay, let's grab this. Beautiful. Well, I've got 90 copper bars, which is quite a bit. I don't really want to carry those around with me, to be honest, because when we die, we do drop our stuff. I'm also going to put this away here. Um... It's funny, nothing stacks properly. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're getting a little bit slimmer here. What do we got? Oh, a couple of valuables. I have a chest just for those. Yeah, we got valuables right here. I'm not sure. Obviously, we've got one NPC show up, and I'm hoping we get some other vendors come, uh, come across. Man, this guy's getting farther away from our house. Uh, I'm just going to close the door here temporarily. Now, let's see. In terms of expanding the house... I've definitely got to get some stuff going on over here. I think what I might end up doing instead of using the glass flooring or bridge is go ahead and I'll dig up some of this like meadow floor. I think we can do that if I pull out this. So I can come over here maybe. I don't know. Let's try it right here. Nope, that's the wall. Um, hmm. Maybe do I need this? No. I'm wanting to just pick up the the chunks that's a wall piece hold on let's start it oh crap there's an enemy there <laughs> i didn't even realize what that was let's clear this out of here get out of here you don't belong in this world all right let's try i guess i'll try over here no it's not letting me dig up oh there it goes okay you right click can i just do that anywhere yes okay that's interesting. I just created a little pit right there. So I guess I could block this area off. Yeah, look, you can't get there now. Nice. So that's that spot is blocked. We won't get any more slimes, at least. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Learning how to manipulate the landscape. And did we get wall or floor? Metal ground. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. So there's four of those. So now I can come over here and... Wait, oh, hold on. This, I can, I, it's kind of hard to see it, but now this I can tell is wall sections. All right, so we can take that, which is even better, actually. There we go. Look at that. So I need a few more. I'll take them from this side, and we'll build this out so that I can continue another NPC house right here. Um, and then we'll have to, I guess, dig into some of this area for more housing. Another thing I realized too is when we start to think about fighting the first boss or any boss, we'll probably have to set up a little arena, you know, clear out just a whole big old patch of of the of the underground here. Make ourselves a nice open area, probably block it off so no enemies wander in and out, you know, just do like I did right over here. And that I think that's probably something I'm going to have to spend time doing. I don't know about summoning the first boss. I'd like to try it just to see how difficult it is, you know, but ultimately it may be way too early for it. I don't know. We do have a full copper set though, <laughs> but there are enemies on the map who can literally like one shot me right now. 
happened in the previous episode. Speaking of which, I feel like we should probably go back to that area. And uh, not to get one-shotted, but just to look for resources, basically. There's going to be more tin, and hopefully we come across some iron over there. First things first, let's cook up some food. We've got some fish, and we'll do some mushroom in there. We'll see what that turns into. And I'm going to clear out the rest of my inventory real quick. Okay, well, hold your horses here. We're not going out just yet. We've got a tin workbench I just built. I'm also getting some wood flooring created, but uh, this thing I've been waiting for. Now, I looked up some stuff, info, so I know that this won't allow us to smelt gold. Well, not directly, obviously, but we get ammunition table, music workbench, the iron workbench. That's what we want. That will allow us to craft a smelter which can do gold and other stuff so tin anvil we'll need this obviously yeah it looks like we need a bunch more tin and eventually we need to find some iron 15 iron bars oh spike traps that's cool a loom Ooh, i don't think i have wool i've got fiber for sh for days but i don't have any wool all right, what did this turn into? Blue mushroom soup. Sounds delish. All right, let's do a double fish. See what that turns into. All right, so we've got... Yeah, let me get this floor down here. Just do a little bit of beautification on our... I'm just slowly working into it. I don't want to use all my wood, like, right away. But I'd love to get this whole ground covered. It's going to take a lot, though. But uh, that's okay. It's just I need to find a way to, like, grow my own. You know what? I think I did find some root seeds. I should probably try and plant those. Let's see here. How much more do I got? I got a few more, so let me get these down. Maybe we'll go try and plant a root seed just to see what that looks like. See how that works. Okay, I've got uh, some floor finished. Not all of it, but uh, I've got our root seeds. Let's see here. Nope, can't plant it. Maybe we need to till the soil first. I don't exactly know how to do that. For farming covers a two by two. Huh. Maybe it has to be like a different ground. You know? Ugh. <laughs> Gotta break through my own barrier. What is that? Marbled meat? What? I've never even seen meat. Literally the first meat I've seen in this game. Right there. Wow. That's cool. Alright, so anyway, can we do here yeah look it's it's viable here but not over here interesting you know what that makes me want to do is dig up some of this flooring here let's grab some dirt ground that's what we need okay okay i'm gonna grab it i don't know someday i'll have to fill in a lot of these little spots but oh look there's wood right there let's get it from just right here for now what is this ground this looks like mushroom or something I want to fall in. There we go. Well, let's see. How many do we get? Six. Give me two more. Then we can do like the um, an eight by eight. I don't want to get too crazy with it right now because we don't need a whole bunch of it. But I want to bring some of this back. Okay. Very good. We'll replace that wall here shortly. Now, I wonder, is this spot viable? Oh, this is viable. Oh, just part of it was. I see. Okay, okay. Interesting. So, let's dig up... Well, now I'll need two more squares, but that's okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll take these out. I can use these to cover in that lake, too. So, there's two. There's four. Well, that's six, I should say. Let's put these back. No, I don't want meadow. I want dirt. There it is. Dirt ground. All right. I've also got my watering can here with me. Beautiful. So there's that. Right click. Right click. Let's see about this. And let me put my watering can up here. Okay. Nice. This might be, I don't know, overkill for the root. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, it's got no water. There we go. We have officially been done farming. We are farmers now. Good. 
Okay, fill that back up. So this bad boy is going to get filled in a little bit. Let me put these away. I wish I could just shift click these into my inventory, but I can't. So let's put that away. Where's my floor? There it is, ground. So that dirt floor is going to be pretty valuable, basically. Okay. There we go. That's just enough to get, you know, the wall section in here. That's what I want. I'll probably fill some of this in too, but we're going to need some water if we're going to be doing our crops here, right? Maybe I'll move that too at some point. It was kind of just a test. Now I do still have, what, two dirt pieces? Let's grab a couple more and I'll do one more four by four section. Put something else there. Yeah, we don't need to do the roots again, but um, all right, I'll grab this. It's funny how we can just dig out, dig big holes into the abyss right there. Don't fall in. Oh, dang it, I just, I just put it right back in there. Hold on, get out of here. Mm, what should we grow here, though? Maybe something I don't see much of, like those blue flowers or whatever. All right. Oops, wrong way. Now, I do have four of these. Let me get those placed here. I'm thinking I'm going to pull this up. Three. Okay. Three. I don't know, for whatever reason, I like that a little better. Put that there. All right, good enough. Now we can use these glass brick. Oh, I can't shift click it into the hot bar. It's killing me. There we go. Let's put these just like right there. Okay, that looks a little nicer. I'm still not in love with the glass wall here. I think it looks a little funky. I'm probably going to change it to just regular painted wall. But yeah. For now, it's okay. It's shaping up pretty nicely. Let's see. Oh, we got milk all over the place. These cows are messy. Let's see. What did we? What did the fish times fish end up making? Oh, orange guppy fillet. Decent, decent. Um, I feel like I should do something special for the meat, but we'll do a berry and some meat. Now let's put these seeds away. What should we grab? I'm thinking heartberry glow tulip bomb pepper. That's all we've got, really. I, I'm thinking I don't see much of the heartberry. Four of them. Let's try those. Let's get those in the ground. Wonder how long. What? I wonder how long it'll take here to grow. Oh look, they're already sprouting. Not long at all, I guess. There we go. And let's get the water. Beautiful. All right. Oh, I can't walk through them either. That, like, blocks my path. I might have to remember to come out here every morning and water those babies. So that, you know what that means, too. If you can't walk through your plants, don't set up, like, four right next to it. You're going to need to do it in rows so you can access the middle parts. You know what I'm saying? So if I were to set up another four block all along here, the two inner rows we wouldn't be able to access properly. As far as I can tell. But no big deal. We'll, uh, we'll worry about that when we have to cross that bridge. Let's see. Okay, it's time to clear all this stuff out. I think finally go exploring? Question mark. Hold on, let's look at this real quick. Straw bale wall. That seems like something you should make right off the bat. <laughs> okay, no problem. Ooh. I don't have enough tin for this. I want that explorer backpack. Oh, bug net. Cool. Critters instead of accidentally stepping on them. Okay, okay. So maybe we can use those. Hey, yeah, for fishing better fishing rod that'll be helpful i actually kind of like the fishing in this game it's challenging um all right so let's uh like i said let me empty out my bags huh i just found another piece of meat as i was coming through this area i'm thinking it's probably these guys who are dropping it maybe they're encountering enemies out here in the meadows i think that's what's happening quit killing the cows buddy that's not allowed all right but we're getting closer oh look there's another piece of meat down there uh, we are getting closer here to our ultimate destination. I also see a nice little fishing spot right here. Whoa, get out of here. I don't think we're going to fish right now. I'm anxious to get in into the clay walls and start looking for... Um, I almost said gold. <laughs> start looking for tin and iron and stuff. So, here we are. We have come... To, is this where I built the bridge? Actually, no. This was just another location. 
Where did I build that stinking bridge? Maybe it was, oh, it was over here. So you can kind of see we built a bridge over here and then this is the clay wall where I was getting tin and stuff, but there's enemies on this side of the chasm that are very, very tough. So we might just build another bridge down in this area. I see a connection, plus I brought 30. So I've got a whole bunch more. Um, screw it, let's just start it from right here. I'm gonna clear some of this out. Hey, that looks like a whole bunch of dirt right here. Yeah, baby. What is this? What kind of soil is this? I wonder. What was that? D that's dirt ground too? It looks so strange. Let's put it back. Oh, I guess it's not tilled or something? I don't know. I feel like that wasn't the right dirt. Oh, it was this. That wasn't what I looked at. It was the fungal soil. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Anyway, let's stay focused. Stay focused, please. All right, let's grab the pickaxe. Put down that. Okay. Time to build a bridge to the unknown. Oh, oh boy. Now, one thing I like to do is... Yeah, let's let's break the bridge so that no monsters can like Oh what? We got a prompt here. I gotta be careful. So we don't want to encounter any monsters over on this side. They'll probably murder me. But this is a pretty sweet spot. What kind of wall is this? Oh wow, look at it. Oh my god. This is straight up stone wall here takes days to mine through it. I bet you this is where we'll find iron, right here. Let's see, we got one sparkly right in front of me. Oh, what was that? Iron ore, yes! There it is, the beautiful, the glorious iron. Okay, hold on. Ah, I was gonna try and go around. That's pretty sweet though. Oh look, there's a big old chunk of it right there one of those uh, nodes that we probably need a, uh, a drill for, I'm betting. Nice, nice, nice. What is this over here? I got some sparkly bits catching my eye. Oh, man. Hold on. Oh, crap, crap, crap. You know what I need to do? Instead of keeping this second one in there, I'm going to start putting walls up here. I guess we'll use the, the sand. I prefer not to use sand, actually. We'll just use these. I can slap this down, you know, in front of me now if something's chasing me or whatever. All right, get this. Because I don't like coming into these big caverns here. This is scary to me. What is this? Looks like a marshmallow. Oh, okay, carrot seed. Carrock. Oh, it's like a carrot and a rock. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay, gardening plus one. I want to go in and allocate these points, but I'm also a little nervous. Look at this. Nope, too hard, need a drill. I see something right here. Is this copper? I think it's a mix of copper and iron right there. Yeah, I just picked up a copper. That's okay. As long as there's some iron behind it, I'm okay with that. Oh man, this rock wall takes days and days. Maybe we get some cool building material from it though. Oh look, here's like a gem. Yes. Also, I can see something glowing right here. I want to investigate that. What is this? Oh, it's another gem there, I think. Oh, it's a little statue. Yeah, I like that. A little urn. Okay, let's continue to look for ore. Real quick, though. 5% chance to gain an additional ore from... Yes, I want that one. No more points there. I swear there... There it is. I was going to say, I swear there were more points. Okay. All right, let's stay focused here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is where, like, you have to kind of consider what the best route is for mining. Oh, another... Watch yourselves. <gasps> what the... F Dude, is that coming for me? I think he's just there. I don't think he knows I'm here. Right? What was that? I'm ready to retreat. <laughs> I'm ready to backtrack and get out of here. Oh, some massive monster. What lives beneath? We could have been in its path. Had I been over here, I might have gotten trapped by that sucker. All right, well, no, uh, you, you don't gain anything without risk, right? Whoa, what is that? Oh, 
I just got an iron chest. What? I have two op copper keys. I don't have any iron keys, though, so... I don't know if we can craft those or if we strictly have to find them, but so far I've been just finding them. Hey, look at this little bug right here. <laughs> I want to capture him with a, with a net. I wonder if he's a relative of the giant creature we just encountered. Like, is that what we just saw, but like the bigger cousin of it? Possibly. All right, without digging too much, I want to just look for sparklies around here, like these real easy ones. Oh, that's gold. Definitely want to spend as much time in this area as possible. I try to remember to eat more often. I do have that second copper pick, so I'd like to kind of stay until that's broken, basically. Or until our bags are just full to bursting with iron ore. But <laughs> that would also be nice. Now let's see. Uh, I don't want to go all the way around. Alternately, I hate going through these walls. But let's make ourselves a little shortcut. Now it looks like there's some ruins and stuff down below. I'd like to grab those. Okay, let's see what's down here. Oh, that's it. Okay, there, we've got an enemy right there. That we need to avoid. Oh god, those will kill me in one hit. Oh god, we got another big earthquake coming. I just saw it in the corner of my mind. Ah, there. Okay, things have settled. Oh, oh, it's like area specific. Yeah, if we go over there, I start rumbling more. I'm trying to dig just straight through. Look, these guys down here, they had lights on. They literally had fires burning there for a while. I could see in their little cavern, but... They've gotten rid of them. Maybe because the creature's attracted to it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm just slowly but surely digging through the stone. Going for some of the sparklies here. Hoping it's iron. We've got a decent little stack of iron. 13. I'd love to get a lot more, though. Pickaxe is holding up pretty well. That reminds me, too. I did get a comment about the sledgehammer that I found. And how that's a er good early game mining tool. I should have brought it with me. I forgot all about it, though. But I will grab that and use it on the next excursion. Uh oh Oh, this is like an orange biome. Yeah, we'll use that on the next excursion, though, for sure. What? Oh. <gasps> this is what came through. Look at this. He crushed everything. Oh my god, we gotta be careful. We're basically just treading in the backwash of some monster. What? Ah! Get out, get out, get out, get out. I think that place is actually open to those bad boys right there. Alright, <laughs> we blocked him with a wall. Whoo, boy, oh boy, that was funny. I thought he was dead for a second. Nope, that little guy was just asleep. Okay, so we've got more mining to do. Um, I can go in this direction, except it is going to hit the, the worm's trail or whatever it is. I assume it's some sort of slime worm. But, um, actually, what is this little red spot? Let's go check that out. I don't know what that is. It's around over here, though. We have access to whatever it is. What was that? Oh, there it is. What? Oh, it's one of those bombs. Yep, yep. All right, not, oh, look. Bro, that was cool. I mean, I don't see any more sparklies, but still, we just got a bunch of free stone. I like that, actually. Okay, let's see. 115, not bad, plus... Oh, that's my broken copper pickaxe. I thought that was some, like, special ruby pickaxe or something at first. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, well, it's not, unfortunately. Now, there is some more sparkly, so I'm just going to keep going, guys. If I encounter another huge worm, though, I'll show you. Okay, well, we made it back. The pickaxes were getting pretty close to being broken, so I've uh, we made our way back home. I think it's time to get the bars put away. We got iron bars. That's cool. Nice. All right, so that's working. Also, so the, uh, the same commenter mentioned something about the workbenches. Let me see here. If we go to this one. Huh. Oh, it's this. Yeah, the arrows. So we can switch between the benches so I don't have to go, oh, I need to go to the copper bench. I don't have to leave, walk over there. We can just go from copper to tin to the wooden one. That's super helpful. Yeah, that's nice quality of life right there. It does show that I can quick, sta quick stash with left shift. That's nice. I can't do it into my own hotbar, though. That's what was kind of annoying to me. But uh, still, still, they're working. It's early access. Things are still being smoothed out. 
I love it so far. Hey, we got some stone moss. Interesting. First we've seen. Okay. Yeah, we did pretty well on that excursion. Like I said, I wish I could get more uh, iron, but uh, we've started off pretty well. That's kind of probably how it goes. You got to start off small, get a few bars here and there, and work your way up. So thank you for joining me, everybody, for this episode. I feel like we've done some important work today. So hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Let me know what you think down there in the comment section, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you.